Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Zegzouga, senior vascular and endovascular surgical resident at Paris Saint-Joseph Hospital in France. We are happy to announce the recent publication of our article about clinical improvement after arterial revascularization is associated with exercise auxiliary results. As per our practice, in a dedicated vascular medicine laboratory, we evaluate patients with intermittent claudications by resting ABI and exercise transcontinuous oxygen pressure measurement, along with doublet scan. Exercise DCBO2 can provide an accurate data about maximum walking distance, maximum walking time, the exact onset of patient symptoms, and finally, and most importantly, the real-time presence of exercise in the user regional blood flow impairment of different parts of the affected limb. So this study is a single center prospective comparison analysis of a preoperative exercise DCBO2 results and clinical improvement post revascularizations in patients with atypical intermediate claudications in 82 patients. And we also looked at the association between proximal claudication, resting API, and the results of the exercise DCBO2. Key results of this study were that clinical improvement after revascularization was significantly greater in the exercise TCBO2 positive group at 97%, where patients with exercise TCBO2 negative results have shown no improvement at all. So we believe that this is the first prospective study to evaluate clinical improvement post revascularization in patients who have had exercise TCBO2 measurement that guided the operative decisions. Furthermore, this study highlights the potential benefit of using exercise DCBO2 in evaluating patients with intermittent claudication of doubtful arterial origin, proximal claudication, and claudication with normal ABI. So finally, the exercise DCBO2 measurements have improved our diagnostic performance in treating patients with peripheral arterial diseases and therefore have improved patient care Thank you for listening.